So there's talk of Mitt Romney's campaign needing to reboot or restart or hit the reset button, but whatever. There's talk of his campaign needing a turnaround. How do you turn this thing around? Well, it doesn't need a turnaround. Okay, well, people are talking about it nonetheless. And I think that President Obama gave the Romney-Ryan campaign a huge gift this week when he said this. And the most important lesson I've learned is that uh, you can't change Washington from the inside. You can only change it from the outside. That's how I got elected, and that's how the big accomplishments like health care got done. And then trying to defend that or explain what he meant or something at a rally, he said this. We don't want an inside job in Washington. We want change in Washington. To the Romney campaign, please use these quotes in an ad. Here's a suggestion. Four years ago, we elected a Washington insider to try to change Washington. How did that work out? Uh, you can't change Washington from the inside. You can only change it from the outside. But this actually goes far beyond President Obama's remarks there. It has to do with a problem that I think presents Mitt Romney with a larger opportunity. There are a lot of people out there who have become so disillusioned with politics and politicians in general that they don't think anyone can solve the problems that need solving. They're not going to vote for Obama, but they're not sold on Romney, and if they don't vote, then they are in effect helping to re-elect President Obama. Romney can reach these people, not all of them, but a significant chunk, and he has to enlist the help of others to do it. And here's what I'd like him to do. At campaign rallies, at when he or Congressman Ryan or whoever else they have speaking at their rallies, someone who has a large base of support needs to tell the voters that, look, everyone here knows at least one person who is registered to vote, but for whatever reason is too discouraged or too disenchanted with this whole process of ours that they're not going to vote. They're undecided at this point. They'd like to vote, but they don't think they have a viable alternative. And if he's in Nevada, then of course he would mention they can vote for none of these candidates. But if they do that, then that is a vote for the status quo. And they know what we have now is not working, but they don't think that changing presidents and electing different people to Congress will solve the problem. And there is a way to get through to these people. And there are really three points that you need to make to these people. People who think that, for example, there's a lot of serious problems that they know need solving, but they don't buy what Mitt Romney's selling because they think that, oh, it's just not that simple. Our problems are so great and complex that what you're proposing is not enough to fix it. And here's how you can get through to these people. There are three points you need to make with them, three specific things. First, you need to tell them, yes, some of our problems are great and complex and they will require complex solutions that will require the cooperation of a great many people, but some of the solutions really are quite simple. One of the reasons things are so bad in the country today is because we've had a lot of bad policies coming out of Washington these past four years, and if things would improve if Washington just stopped doing stupid things. And that won't solve all our problems, but it is a start. And th that's the first point, that bad policies make for bad situations. The second point that they need to make is that People are disillusioned that any president can change Washington for the better, can improve our lives. And I think that it is true that you can't predict the future. You can't be 100% certain that a President Romney and Vice President Ryan will be able to bring about the change this country needs. But what you can be absolutely sure of is that things will not change for the better 
if you reelect President Obama or allow him to get reelected by simply not voting because the president has given no indication that he is open to reversing course, that he's going to change course if he gets a second term. He hasn't done the triangulation thing like Clinton did in the 90s. We've seen the limit of what President Obama's policies can do. And again, you're speaking to voters who are dissatisfied with the status quo. So that should be a point of agreement for them. But the status quo is unacceptable and things can get better. And I would put it to them this way, the question from Paul Ryan's speech. Without a change in leadership, why would the next four years be any different from the last four years? That's really powerful. I would say, ask yourself this question, but I would tweak it slightly. I would say, without a change in leadership, why should we believe that the next four years will be any better than the last four? Because they're supposed to get better, right? If the president and people in power are doing a good job, then our lives would be improving. It's not just a difference that people want. They want things to get better. And you only know that it won't get better if you just keep the same people in power. So that's the second point. And the third point is that for those problems that are beyond the power of any one administration, one president to solve, those problems that are complex and difficult to solve, and that people who are disenchanted and discouraged from even voting for one candidate or the other, who think that all politicians are crooks or liars or fools, they need to understand. You need to make them understand that it is possible to do the big things, to accomplish great things, to tackle these difficult and complex problems, but you've got to have enough people in Washington with the courage and work ethic to do it. There are a lot of people who think, oh, it doesn't matter who you send to Washington. It doesn't make a difference. If your friends or relatives think that they don't have a choice in this election who can change things for the better, then tell them why they're wrong. It does make a difference who they send to Washington. If you elect bad people, then you get bad policies. This isn't to say our opponents are bad people, but they are clearly not doing a good job. You know that. And if we elect enough people with the courage and the work ethic to tackle these tough problems, to get it done, then you will see an improvement in your lives. Then we really can put in place policies that will change things for the better. And that's why I'm running for president, and or Paul Ryan would say, that's why I'm proud to be running with Mitt Romney. Actually, it's, you got to mention Paul Ryan. I just have to interrupt here to make the point that Mitt Romney has been saying that if we put in place the policies he's proposing, then our economy will add 12 million new jobs. And people are saying, that's an unattainable goal. Only twice in American history have the economy added more than 12 million jobs during one presidency. It's not an unachievable goal, and here's why. So for those problems that are beyond the power of any one person to solve, we can solve these problems and change your lives for the better if you elect people with the courage and work ethic it takes to tackle these tough issues. There's no such thing as leadership without courage. And if you elect us, then I promise you, we would not shy away from these challenges. We will tackle these problems that others have been too lazy or cowardly to address. That's why we're running. And I'll just close with that. So to recap, three points you need to make. First, yes, some problems are great and complex and require great and complex solutions, but some really are that simple. And you're not going to get Washington to stop doing stupid stuff if you send the same people back there. Two, you can't be 100% sure that a President Romney will be able to achieve the change you desire, but you can be sure, you can be certain that re-electing President Obama will not result in the change we need. And number three, for those problems that are great and difficult and complex, you got to have people in there. you got to have more people with the courage and the work ethic necessary. Those are people who make for good leaders. We don't have that now. You have a choice. And I say this not just as something I'd like to hear Mitt Romney and Paul Ryan tell 
the crowds at their rallies to try and get the message out. But to those of you who are disillusioned with the status quo, who are disillusioned with the whole political process, who think, oh, nothing's ever going to change, neither of these guys is any better than the other, WRONG! But I'll leave you with this. Compare Mitt Romney in 2012 with Barack Obama in 2008. Unlike Barack Obama, Mitt Romney is not running around the country making a bunch of promises that he can't keep. He's realistic. If Mitt Romney can't make you feel the way that then Senator Obama made you feel when he was running in 2008, then, well, there are multiple reasons. Granted, Mitt Romney is not as captivating or charismatic a figure as Barack Obama, but it also has something to do with he's not out there making pie-in-the-sky promises. He's only promising to do things that he stands a reasonable chance of getting done. Shouldn't we reward a candidate who does that? 